hello guys welcome back to another video of our online course in this video we are going to discuss classification of non traditional processes before going to classification we'll summarize what is meant by manufacturing process and what is meant by non traditional machining processes as we know that our manufacturing processes are broadly divided into the two groups first is the primary manufacturing processes where basic shape and size is to be provided to the material as per the designer's requirement in that casting forming powder metallurgy this kind of process coming and the second group is the secondary manufacturing process this group provides the final shape and size with tighter control on the dimension and surface characteristics this is a second group okay and our material remold process it belongs to the secondary manufacturing process again this material remold process it is divided into two group first is the conventional machining processes and second is the non traditional or non conventional machining processes in conventional machining process mostly material is removed in the form of chips by applying the forces on the work piece with a edge shaped cutting tool and that is harder than the work piece okay so examples of this conventional machining processes are turning boring milling shaping slotting also grinding now come to the second group that is a non traditional machining processes or manufacturing processes now this group is defined as a group of processes that removes excess amount of material by various techniques involving mechanical thermal electrical or chemical energy or combination of these energies but do not use a sharp cutting tool as it needs to be used for the traditional machining processes got it now examples of this non traditional machining process are abrasive jet machining then electric discharge machining electrochemical machining laser beam machining plasma arc machining iron beam machining these are the examples let us move for the today's topic that is a classification of non traditional machining processes now these processes are classified according to the source of energy used to generate such machining action now there are mainly three groups are there mechanical thermal and electro and electrochemical and chemical group in mechanical energy based processes erosion of work material is carried out by a high velocity of stream of abrasive or fluids or both and in thermal energy based processes thermal energy is applied to a very small portion of the work piece which causes removal of the material by fusion or vaporization of the material okay and in electrochemical it is a reverse of electroplating where electrochemical dissolution that is a ionic dissolution is happening okay this is a just a overview of classification now we'll go in detail now look at in this slide our non conventional processes are divided into the mainly three three categories okay first is the mechanical under mechanical we have the different machining processes in that abrasive jet machining water jet machining abrasive water jet machining ultrasonic machining also there are the some finishing processes are there abrasive flow finishing magnetic abrasive finishing okay so these are the mechanical energy based processes now second group thermoelectric group in that mainly electric discharge machining that is edm then plasma arc machining laser beam machining electron beam machining and ion beam machining these are the processes belongs to thermoelectric machining process and the last one, that is chemical and electro chemical machining processes in that chemical machining comes then our pcm will come and mainly electro 
chemical machining okay so these are this is a classification now let us discuss one by one now first uh, that is a mechanical advanced machining processes okay like abrasive jet machining ultrasonic machining and water jet machining okay it is developed but with a limited success here kinetic energy of a either abrasive particle or water jet it is utilized to remove the material from the workpiece abrasive water jet machining also use uses kinetic energy of abrasive particle okay which is flowing along with the water jet also magnetic abrasive finishing is another process in which magnetic abrasive brush is utilized to reduce the surface irregular irregularities from the pre machined surfaces a new machining process it is called abrasive flow machining and it is developed recently however performance of these processes depend upon the hardness strength and other physical and metal mechanical properties of all the work with material what is the really needed is the development of machining method whose performance is unaffected by physical metallurgical and mechanical properties of the work workpiece okay thermolytic methods are the which overcome the drawback of the mechanical processes okay so thermolytic process as well as electrochemical process are more and more deployed in the material industries okay so let us start the second part that is a thermal energy based methods here the energy is supplied in the form of heat in case of plasma arc machining and the energy is supplied in the form of light in case of the laser beam machining and energy is supplied in the form of electron bombardment in case of electro beam machining electron beam machining okay the energy is concentrated on the small area of workpiece resulting a melting or vaporization and melting both plasma arc machining has been identified as a rough machining process however laser beam machining and electron beam machining are good enough for making very fine cuts and holes however electric discharge machining is a process which is capable of machining of materials economically and accurately this process is widely used for machining hard and tough material but electric conductive material should be there but it is unsuitable for many application where very good surface finish low damage to the work surface and high material removal are the requirement thus mechanical and thermolytic methods of advanced machining processes also do not offer a satisfactory solution to small of some of the problems of machining the material which is difficult to machine okay here i have shown the category of electro sorry uh, thermal non conventional machining process edm ebm lbm plasma beam machining or plasma arc machining and iron beam machining and how the material removal rate happens that is action now let us discuss the chemical and electrochemical machining now in chemical machining it is a etching process which has very narrow range of application mainly because of very low material removal rate and difficulty in finding the suitable etchant for the giving work given work material on the other hand electrochemical machining has a very wide field of application it is controlled anodic dissolution process that yields high material removal rate which is independent of any physical and mechanical property of the work material but work material should be electrically conductive in this process there is no tool wear no residual traces no thermal damage caused to the work piece material and no burr on the machined edge also these advanced machining processes cannot fully replace the conventional machining processes also biochemical machining is a process being developed to the mach uh, machine a biodegradable plastic and this process has been uh, very limited application Though we have the different processes, 
for the machining of the different material but none of these process is the best under all machining condition some of them can be used only for electric conductive material while other can be used for both electric conductive and electric non conductive material and performance of some of these process is not very good while machining like uh, aluminum material having a very high thermal conductivity also these machining processes have their distinct characteristic features hence selection of appropriate machining process for a given situation or product requirement become very important let us highlight about the how to select the process and which process to be used okay so there are the following factors that should be taken care while selection the process so first factor is the process capability then physical parameters shape to be machined and properties of the work piece material to be cut and the most important that is economics of the process so these parameters we have to consider while selecting the different processes for the suitable material okay this is about classification of non conventional machining or advanced machining processes thank you thank you very much hopefully you might have enjoyed the lecture then please do like the video and know your thoughts in comments please do share this video among your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel after subscription you can press the bell icon to never miss the notification regarding our new videos thank you thank you so much